Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love and general situation tarot reading session for you Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Virgo friends out there. What is the message for Virgo? What is meant for you to know at this time of the day, at this time of the week in love and general situationship, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Virgo, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below, okay? And um, all other services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, it is in the website. So go to the website, www.sunshine-tv.com. All right, so let's start the reading, Virgo. I'm not reading reversal, so I'm going to put the, the cards up in upright position. This is for Virgo. Let's start your reading. Um, your first card is the Seven of Swords in upright position, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Coins. Um, I feel like there's some sort of deceitful or two-faced energy. It could be you, okay? Um, for some of you, Virgo, I really feel like you're not being truthful to yourself or... There's a shadow side of you that you would like to let go or you would really like to express what you really feel. And what you really feel is something something dark, okay? Um, next to the Seven of Swords is the Eight. So Seven, Eight, and the Ace of Coins. Um, you might get hurt, okay? I really feel like you could be stalking someone. You could be trying to connect with someone. You're trying to offer an ace of coins to someone, to somebody. It's You're trying to revive. You're trying to connect, to collect, to, 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 to access someone in the past. And you're trying to, off, to, to, to offer the ace of coins. You're hoping to do that. But there is already um, a block. Okay? You might get hurt. You might get disappointed if you play this game. There's something, there, there is a situation in the past, a person in the past, that you're trying to collect them, you're convincing them. You're trying to kind of maneuver things around to be in your favor. You might get hurt and you might, because um, this is, you know, Eight of Pentacles, you might, you know, get yourself hurt if you try to offer an Ace of Pentacles and you're using the Seven of Swords energy. Seven of Swords energy is deceitful, Okay. So make sure that your intention is clear and clean and you're not acting on your shadow side, you know, the dark side or the low vibe in you, okay? So that's a warning, okay? I feel like this is a love reading. And then the second reading is you've got the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Swords. There has been an indecision. You know, things are not really okay in terms of home front, you know? Um, you you don't you don't like what's happening inside the house or in in the home in your home you find it boring or there's something about home that you don't like and you're looking into connecting or you're looking for a connection or you're looking to enjoy your life your daily something is boring inside that something is you're finding boring or complicated or a block inside your house in your home area, in your home front, okay, there's an Asian here, and you would like to cover up, or you would like to enjoy yourself, or be connected outside, so this is inside your house energy, inside your home, things are not good, or you don't like it, so you're trying to channel people, or having a lot of social activity outside, to forget about the issue at home, okay, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, okay? You're trying to avoid someone at home or you don't like what's happening at home in the house and you're looking for external connection, okay? Ace of Wands. The Moon card, you're very confused about, about what's the next thing to do. You've got this energy of, I want to connect with someone outside. I want to solve my problem by talking outside of my home or connecting people outside of my home or my house. And you're quite emotional 
and then the four of um i'm not reading reversals and you've got the five of yeah you feel like you feel a, even though you've got someone you feel alone if you stay at home you feel alone and you're not connecting to people or to your family or to your friends at home you don't like what's in the house or at home that's what i'm getting in here and then the eight of wands yeah i think you're needing you're wanting you're craving for a connection outside be patient okay and then justice all right so right now i really feel like it's quite right now it is quite restrictive or it's quite complicated what whatever you're going through or whatever you're experiencing or going through inside the house in your flatmate in your home okay whether it's family it's your lover it's your sibling be patient because it's not gonna happen overnight okay it's it's gonna get worse for some of you or um keep on connecting with friends or family outside home because it it assists or it aids you to take your mind out of what's happening in the house um there is a temperance card and the justice card so it means that everything will fall into places so whatever issue you are experiencing at home inside your house family that is in your home it's gonna resolve and um there would be a justice in your experience in in you justice will be in your favor so take it easy be patient there is an answer but you've got to wait you know this is something that um this is something that you're experiencing right now it's it for some of you it's really complicated because it's it's annoying it's annoying to have conflict or to have this energy in the very area where you live in your room in your home so i don't think you're comfortable with this deal with it with deal with this with patient and um there's a lot of people and friends that would be able to assist you. You've got one particular person that you would like to talk, you would like to connect. Um, if they're not available, so be it. You know, try other avenue, try another person, try another channel. But be patient because there's going to be thing you, you will remember, you will learn, but things will align um, and it will fall into places. Whatever outcome it should be, it will be. Okay? And um, so that's the second reading. That was quite long. And then this, the third reading is you've got the Hierophant card, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Hmm. It's for some of you guys, there is a relationship that you need to say goodbye because you headbutt. You know, um, you and this person, you have us, you like each other, you love each other, you know, but at some point you've changed they've changed like grown up you always head butt with one another you always strong mind strong headed it could be you it could be them but this relationship it is it's time to go it, it it this relationship or connection it has expired a long time ago so don't try to revive it it's it's it has grown look at that you know there's a bull so it's complacency you're just staying for complacency um it could be temporary walking away or for some of you it could be it's time to walk away from something that um this is someone you love something that you really really would like to take care or to keep it but it's emotionally draining you the two of wands like you know one day you're okay the next thing you know it's on and off hot and cold and the nine of swords it, it's just you know you're, you're staying because of kids or complacency you don't feel yourself when you are with this person or when you are with this connection you are you're no longer happy with them around so yeah six of wands you know um one more please your yeah, four of wands you've changed you've grown you've, you've changed you've, the taste that you still want them you still love them but it's just too much the pain the hurt the betrayal 
it's just too much. And this person will always prioritize work, medal, championship, I don't know, but um, you want you want an emotional you're longing for an emotional connection. You're not getting it with this person. They're stable. They will be around. They will talk to you. But that emotional intimacy and emotional feelings together, you don't get this to this. You don't get them. You don't get them in some level. So because eight of cups, you're going to walk away because you're not emotionally fulfilled. Okay. It could be temporary. It could be this is it. But nine of swords, you don't like it. It's hot and cold, hot and cold. And it's not really connecting in the core of your heart. So I think you would walk away. Like you're tired. Six of wands. Yep, they're, they're champion. You know, like you're good to be with as a person. No complaint. But in terms of emotional satisfaction, something is missing, missing in here. That's why eight of cups, you're going to run away. So this is you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I'm seeing 11.11. I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.